I like red flag guy. Huh? Oh, red flag guy? No, what? <laughs> you see a chicken joy? There's yeah. a red flag. Spicy. <laughs> really? Wow. That's that's interesting though. But there is um, one guy mm -hmm. will, willing to uh, help you achieve those dreams mm -hmm. and you know just be there. Mm -hmm. Probably someone will mm -hmm. like you and just be there. You what supporting you mm -hmm. while you're achieving those dreams. Of course. It's either no man or with man. Yeah. So, a lover boy. What is that? Lover boy is just like a very um, sweet, sweet, yeah, caring, caring. Exactly. Uh, okay, we'll carry you wherever you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of carry? <laughs> what? Cut, what <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Wei and today I am with the most uh, young Filipina next to me. Introduce yourself. Please. Hi, I'm El Marie Esbayot. You can call me Marie. I'm 23 years old. Uh, okay, I'm 23 years old, turning 24 this October. And I'm currently here in Cebu with the most beautiful woman oh, I know. Wow. <laughs> Thank no you for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. It's all, yeah. Yes, it's my pleasure. Uh, it's my. I'm honored to be oh, granted thank you. as an open interview. So, so, how long you been here in Cebu? Well, I'm always. I always visit Cebu for yes. like, for like, um, just you know, go see around. See around. Um, I have cousins who live here. That's why I, vis I keep visiting Cebu. But as of now, I'm, I'm currently working. Yeah. So, um, it's been like one month. Yeah. A month. So what you do for what you work? What is your job? If oh, you're okay with I'm sharing. an executive assistant of a CEO here in Cebu City. Yes. Um, the company called Purple Cow. Yeah. And I'm very thankful to shout out to Sir John Smollo. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> he also has a YouTube channel account. Yeah, link, link down below. below. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, I'm from province. Yes, yeah. Yeah, from Ormoc City, so our Leyte specifically. So it's not really my thing to like see buildings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's something new. Mm -hmm. So what is the biggest difference differences you've noticed from Leyte and Cebu? Oh, a lot. There's a big difference because in Leyte. It's just a peaceful. I'm not saying that Cebu is not peaceful, but like it's a city thing, and Leyte is just more in the province. Trees, no, not so much building, like big buildings, like that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much. And I can see a lot of people here working, mm -hmm. striving, like surviving. So, and also, people here are very friendly, I swear. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that Leyte people are not friendly, yes, but like Cebu is just a new thing for me, and so far, so good. Yeah, so far. How long you been here? Oh, yeah, it was permanently as you work here. Mm, mm, one month? Only one, one month. A month. So, yeah. What was the most interesting you experienced here during a month of working? Um, so far, very interesting part is I get my job, of yes. course, by the help of John Smolo. You can follow him. <laughs> link below. Yeah, link below. <laughs> yeah, I'm working in a purple cow company. It's called. Is it okay to share the company? Yeah, I'm working in a purple cow company. It's a digital marketing company, and so far, so good. Like the work is not really stressing. So good, and the boss. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's also your friend, right? Yes. So yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of like, what you can advise to the province girls mm -hmm. that yeah. want to visit and kind of like have a doubt, like, uh, what they can do to the city, if how they gonna move around in the city, like how yeah. they gonna adapt the life here in the city. Yeah, the advice for you know, I've been in a province. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a province. Really? So and where so you are, yes, and. Alugansan, South oh, Park, okay. Cebu, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just take a risk. Who knows? Just take a risk. That's one thing that I've learned that you need to take the risk or lose the chance. That's it. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. Do anything. You have a dream, so you need to do whatever it takes to get that dream. So, so just yeah. take the risk. <laughs> Aside and looking for a job, mm -hmm. what excites you to come to Cebu? Mm, I really want to see city place because Cebu is city I want to you know see a lot of people a lot of building establishment meet a lot of people get to know and of, of course my growth as a person mm -hmm. to my future work as well or if I do I do have a future work or something but as of now I'm good with my work so yeah I really love Cebu it's so a beautiful place 
Yeah. So you're happy. You can say very that happy. <laughs> <laughs> so are you single? <laughs> Ready to mingle? Yeah, I do. I am. I am. I am single. Um, for me, love life is not my thing right now. Yes. I am really focusing to my work. Yeah. To like self love thing, but I am open. Mm. You can comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> comment down below. <laughs> but like, like yeah. So what what type of a guy like you know that will interest you? Ooh. What type of behavior <laughs> that will attract you? I can't. Uh, mm, wait, I I don't know. <laughs> I like red flag guy. Huh? Oh, red flag guy? No, but <laughs> you see a chicken joy? There's yeah. a red flag. Spicy. Really? <laughs> wow. That's that's interesting though. But uh, what type of red flags is this? Oh, yeah. she likes red flags. No, this but is like something new <laughs> to me. Okay. I like a bad boy look guy, but a lover boy personality. But if there is a, one guy mm -hmm. will, willing to. Uh, help you achieve those dreams mm -hmm. and you know just be there mm -hmm. probably someone will mm -hmm. like you and just be there you uh, what supporting you mm -hmm. while you're achieving those dreams of course that's okay it, of course it's it's either no man or with men yeah so but basically I what type of a guy um, a man that will attract you i like bad boy appearance but a like with boy. long beard and long hair no, 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 no. <laughs> But a lover boy lover. personality. <laughs> you see the guy with like tattoo thing here. <laughs> oh wow, you like a guy with tattoo because kind of. It depends oh, if it's yeah. like suit or fit to them. It depends. I like it as long as it's Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like guy who's very ambitious. Mm. A very. Um, I don't like guy with feminine energy, but I do like guy who's just really being himself. Yeah. And if true. I like you, I like you. If not. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to change that. So, so yes, uh, Filipino boyfriend. How much? How many? Yeah. <laughs> I only have one ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he cheated on me. That's why I don't really be in love anymore. <laughs> Is oh, it wow. too personal? But like, yeah, my sir knows that. You don't, you don't believe in love anymore. Kind of. I'm open, but at the end of the day, if there is someone who's trying to court me, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna think you have oh, doubts. Yeah, yeah, you can trust issue things. So yeah, you, like you don't you don't heal yet. The I am. I do. I did? heal. Yeah, it's just like this generation sucks for me personally. Let me know and comment down below if for you it's not suck. Yeah, to me, I will I will write the comment below. It's not. <laughs> You no. just have to take your time and get mm -hmm. healed fully because mm -hmm. uh, I, I agree you can't go into a relationship mm -hmm. another again mm -hmm. if yeah. you still don't trust anyone. That's gonna be unfair for yourself and for the other person. Uh, okay, I'll yes. take that. I'll take Listen that to me, I'm Thanking your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll so take that. So tell me about a little bit about how, how is Robin's life. Yeah, it's very peaceful. The air there compared to the air here in the city. We all know that population and transportation is like a more crowded than a province. Yes. So province is just like a peaceful place for me. No traffic. Also people are friendly, just working a minimum something. And a province for me is very peaceful. That's it. And people are just, you know, they are, I'm not saying that province people are not ambitious or something. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't see myself um, settling with a life with just like a simple living life mm. i'm a very ambitious woman and i feel yes. like there's nothing wrong with that yeah of course so, yeah so i need i want to you know grow growth and i want to explore things because i know i have something in me that i need to you know yes give so that's why i'm exploring and that's why i'm here in Cebu. yeah it's more uh, a lot more opportunities in yes, the yes. in the yeah. city comparing yeah. to the province yeah so what do you miss about living in the province oh the air yeah. Fresh, air. Fresh air. I really love the air in province, yeah. and, and it's quiet. Very yeah. quiet. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Here, as you mm. later on when you get old, you want to go back to the province <laughs> because that's what old people like. Really? <laughs> but like, yeah, that's it. That's it. Me, I can feel it now. <laughs> I'm close to forty, so really, uh, so yeah, that's it. But as of now, since I'm only twenty-three, too young, I really need to explore. So what is the family culture that you want to share about our viewers? Like a family culture, culture that uh, you kind of like mm -hmm. proud about? 
Well, um, I'm not sure if being conservative is one of the biggest flicks because I know there are some people who are not conservative, anyway, and it's yeah. yeah, and anyway, and it's their um, it's their life, and I need to respect that. Mm. Okay, but yes. like for me personally, we are very conservative in our province, mm. so I think that's one of the best thing that I can tell. Yeah, and we, we are we are very accommodating with our guests. <laughs> you have experienced that you don't you have a plate in the house and you're not using it when there's visitors you oh, have yeah, to yeah, use yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's a visitor. <laughs> They're the only one who's gonna use that thing. Yeah, yeah, the visitors. Mm -hmm. Not us. <laughs> and the visitors eat first. <laughs> It's true, it's true yeah, in Provence. It I don't know if yeah. it's normal, but in Provence, that's, that's part of our culture. That's how we do it. Yeah. yeah, that's part of the culture. Yeah. We prepare our visitors. Yeah. Yeah, we so prepare we, we for the say, visitors. Mama? We're like, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> saying, we say, <laughs> no, but like, we say, Mama, can I buy some food? And just like, no, we don't have enough money. Yeah. We need budget. But then if you're Tito or something, yeah, yeah. go, Anna, go buy something. Buy soft drinks. Yeah, yeah. yeah so for, for the visitors. But yeah. if you... That's part of yeah. our, our. It's our, nothing our, wrong with that. We're pleasers, like I'm kind of a pleaser, right? Yeah. Because we have to please our visitors yeah, with exactly. a new plate, new mm -hmm. glasses. It's yeah. just, it's <laughs> just a welcome thing. Yeah. To that's make how, you feel at home. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, that's it. Since oh. you are a month in here, mm -hmm. uh, which places you can recommend that can, uh, our tor uh, tourists can visit to oh. check out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you don't have enough budget, like you really want to appreciate the place, you can go to Busai. It's mm. like a top of the Cebu. Also tops. Tops. It's where it's like a f uh, structure there that all people visit and can see the buildings, city lights. It's very best to visit at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, of so the lights. Of course. And, yeah. So yeah, that's and when it comes to food, there's a plenty of restaurant here or cafe you can visit anytime and anywhere. Even if you are not having like a where should we eat or something, like there, there's a cafe here. You can try everywhere. And there's a, a lot of tourists here, like Japanese, Korean, mm -hmm. different kind of people. So, so how are they gonna go if ever they're gonna go to Busai? What the mm -hmm. how about the transport if, if they don't have mm -hmm. a car? Oh, if you don't have a car, you, people here are very friendly, especially transportation things. So you can just ask, hey, Kuya, uh, can you tell me what, where can I ride, uh, go to Busai? Or you just can install um, application, mobile app like Maxim, Ancas, Move It, something like that. And people here are very trusted. And so you can go anywhere you want. Yes, and other than that, going to top, you mm -hmm. can ride a, a bus, bus yeah, yeah. from IT Park going yeah. to Busai. Yeah, so exactly. Foreigner. Yes. Are you open to date foreigner? I'm very open dating foreigner. Yes. It's just like I can. No one's trying to approach me. So. Oh wow! Maybe they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your? What is too old or too young for you to date? Oh, for me. Um, since I'm 23, I'm not really into old guy or something, mm -hmm. but I'm open with like 24 to 35. Something. Yes, something like that. 35. I need to. Much mature. Hello? Is there 24 or 35? <laughs> <laughs> Come <and> down <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah, basically, like, what that, that's only the, you, he, he should have that too. It's, yeah. it's more attractive to you when he is kind of a bad, bad, bad guy. appearance, but a lover boy. A lover boy. I love that. How describe a lover boy? What is that? Lover boy is just like a very um, sweet, sweet, caring, yeah, caring. Exactly. Uh, okay, we'll carry you wherever you go. Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> kind of carry? <laughs> cut, cut. Cut. <laughs> what kind like, of carry? Yeah. What kind of carry? Carry, carry. You think that's not going to be enjoying? I'm enjoying. <laughs> I eat it, I'm sorry. And now I'm going to put perfect and light bulb. Okay, I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. So, okay. Okay, what is, as a Filipino, mm -hmm. if you see foreigners and Filipina relationship, what do you observe? I observe that they're, they are, um, they're working out together. I mean, um, foreigner and Filipina, or is there a Filipino with a foreigner? Mm. They're more on like click and then just kind of, you know, happy marriage, something like that. Because I feel like foreigner is a very uh, loving kind of person. They're mm. people, I mean, very loving, very caring. If they like you, they love you, they're gonna show you, they're gonna tell you. 
by action, by words, which is I believe because I have also friends who are dating foreigners and they can handle how Filipina do tampo, celos, kind of mm. stuff. So yeah, I salute them. It's just I don't have one. So <laughs> how I wish. <laughs> If ever someone's gonna court you, how mm-hmm. long for you to say yes? Um, it's not take like a, maybe months. A month? Yeah, or weeks, or like two weeks, something. It depends how how he court me. Yes. If maybe I can see the intention, the <laughs> yeah, it's the pure, then okay. Maybe yeah. next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, a minute. <laughs> But like, yeah, it depends. But months is too much long for me. That's long. For What me. if you just uh, you just seen it and two months is two times. You dated two times. That's not long, I think. Yeah. You think it's long. It's long if you see him every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it really depends. Yeah, it depends I can how see the, yeah, the intention. Yeah, the intention. So, yeah, that's wow, it. it's not that's that it. long. Oh. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. what is your uh, opinion? Why mm-hmm. most of the Filipinos prefer for foreigners? I feel like Filipina prefer more foreigner because foreigners are more matured. I'm not saying that, uh, especially older guy or like age, not older, but like age thir- 30 plus or something up. Mm. They're very matured. They're, they just want to settle, understand you and everything. They're done with games stuff. Mm. So as a girl, you're, you're really tired of like um, boys. Mm. Like, not a man, but a boy. So mm. I prefer men. Yeah, so. man is better than boys. Correct. What is your message to the foreigners mm-hmm. that are gonna visit the Philippines because they want to find here the, the love, love of their, their life? life. Okay. Kind of. So mm-hmm. what what the things they can do here? Well, just be yourself. You How can. to be more attractive here oh. in the Philippines? Um, I feel like every foreigner who visits Philippines can be attractive to us. Filipina, yes, right? stand out. Mm-hmm. What can foreigners do? To mm-hmm. be more attractive here in the Philippines, um, just be. F- I don't know. For me, if you're really friendly and you're very like, want to know more about the culture, mm-hmm. it's one of the big factors. Yeah, kind for of me. indulge yourself yeah, exactly. in our culture. It's kind of yeah, yeah. something that's, like that. That's that's yeah. very attractive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's it. And then you're just being friendly, open. Yeah, not too not too friendly as well because uh, yeah, I yeah. observe some other foreigners are just gonna stare at you to yeah, death. No, and no, no, that's like that. too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like no. just be friendly, but mm-hmm. not too much. Exactly, something like that. And just be yourself. People here Philippi- in Philippines are very welcoming. Mm. So you gotta be loved. You gotta love here. You will love her. Uh, you will love here in our place in our country yes. so. and don't forget to be respectful that's course, very important need, that's on the top to be respectful. Yes. even if you're and not in the smells Philippines smells good mm-hmm. dressed well of course yeah even yeah. if you're like wearing simple thing <laughs> yes but t-shirt better. but you smells good yeah you, you agree with that yeah i love fragrance so. yeah mm-hmm. just smells neat oh mm-hmm. just smells clean like yeah. you out from the shower <laughs> baby <laughs> baby something anyway. like that yes thank you so much Marie thank it was you. fun I'm sweating the light is so hot hotter <laughs> than so me <laughs> <laughs> you're here that's why it's so hot come on thank you guys for watching thank you so much Marie thank you so I'll much I'll see you next time for another vlog <laughs> thank guys you. thank sure you for subscribe. watching and be safe everyone I'll see you later bye bye <laughs>